Shortly after my master's graduation, I was lucky enough to have landed a job as a data analyst and then a data science consultant for a big four company. Two years later in 2019, I decided to take a second degree in computer science. My first background was in economics and I used to think it was well enough studying for me. It was a scary idea. The idea of spending at least three years studying for a degree sounds terrifying. I would also probably have to work part-time and get a pay cut. Not to mention, if I'm not careful, I might burn myself out and jeopardize my relationship along the way. Well, my relationship did eventually end, but for another reason. Two years later, I'm now finishing my last coursework semester and the final project with quite decent grades so far and I'm definitely proud of it. I realized that at some point in our careers, many of us would consider taking on some more education, whether by taking online courses or a second degree like me. So I'm super excited to share with you some of my personal experience, the ups and downs in the past two and a half years working and studying full time and how I managed to balance my time. So my motivation to go back to school again all started with the worry inside me that I was probably settling down too early. Back then I was 27 years old, in a stable relationship, and having this great consulting job and decent salary. But one day something really hit me. I remember on my 26th birthday, the mom of my ex-boyfriend asked me if I had any wishes for the coming year. I said, um, I don't, I cannot think of anything. And I thought it was really weird. It didn't sound like me at all. I had always been doing new stuff and having goals and all of a sudden I didn't seem to have any goals anymore and I felt really uninspired by what I was doing. So that was the first moment I started to realize I had to do something. The second reason was that I want to find out what I don't know from my knowledge to the skills and how I could broaden my career options in the future as much as possible given how fast the world is changing right now. I was afraid that I was living in some sort of comfortable bubble and I would not be able to fulfill my full potential. I was really afraid later in my life I would regret wasting my time watching too much Netflix and ending up not investing in myself enough. So after a lot of researching and reflection, I came to a conclusion that taking another degree in computer science could be a very good thing to do. I was anyway always excited about computer, math and technology and software and if I were to progress into a data science manager or some technical roles in a tech company or even to create a software or AI that could save people people's lives. So I believe some in-depth study would eventually help me feel more grounded and confident in my ability to understand computer algorithms, technologies, and data science. So I decided to just do it. But it was not easy, logistically and financially. During my research, I found this online bachelor in computer science from the University of London delivered on Coursera. And I was very much in doubt between taking a master's in computer science and a bachelor. But then I thought it would probably be better to take a bachelor because I want to get more solid foundation and I can always take a master's later if I want. It cost around 17,000 euros, which was way more than my total saving at the time. And there was no way I could be able to afford it by myself. So I mustered all my courage and planned a meeting with my manager and explained my motivation and asked him if the company could pay for my study. Normally companies don't pay for a bachelor study, but rather rather postgraduate study because it's considered to be more valuable. But I got lucky that my manager was very supportive of that idea. After two months, I got an official approval to start the study and the company would pay for all the expenses with the condition that I would stay at the company after the study until the amount is amortized. So I thought it was a pretty good deal because I was planning to stay at the company for a while anyway. Computer science is definitely quite a demanding degree. Some modules are very abstract some others involve a lot of coding. It can take a lot of time to do coding assignments and projects, especially if you want to do very well. But since this is my second degree, I think I know how to study more effectively and be smarter about what's worth investing my time in and what's not. Besides that, having a right system that works for me really helps. 
our brains are all wired differently. So we'll eventually find a way of managing time that works for us. For me, having a daily priority has been the strategy that works best for me so far. I usually have a lot of projects running in parallel, but I usually only aim to do one thing at a time or even one thing a day if that's all I can manage. Every evening before bed, I would decide on one priority for the next day that I would like to accomplish for my personal projects, whether it is to finish the next two lectures for my study or to research for a new video or just to hang out with my colleagues after work. Next to that big priority, I would add some smaller tasks that would take me probably less than 15 minutes to do, for example, shopping for something online or writing an email. All the other tasks would go into a might-do list. I'll get to them if I have any time and energy left. If not, it's not a problem. I also make small sprints when I have an important deadline coming, being finishing an important project or exams. <sighs> It's 9 a.m. on a Saturday and I know it's gonna be a very long day because I have three assignments, midterm assignments to finish up and submit by next Monday. So uh. those days I'll just tunnel down and focus 100% on that project and then when I'm done, I'll switch to the next one. If you have a personal hobby that can help you relax, it will also help tremendously, especially in the darkest moments. I like painting a lot and even have an Instagram account for all my watercolor paintings. I never told you about this because I thought it's not relevant for you as an audience of this data science channel, but it's a hobby that has kept me sane whenever I feel stressed anxious or running out of creativity, well, next to coffee. I think managing all different things in life is eventually a balancing act, and I just start to learn it. There are always unexpected things coming up, and I also don't always feel energetic or motivated to do anything. But you learn to listen to your body and learn how it works and know when to stop. Now let's try out this function to see... <sighs> I'll try to take a break to relax, going for a walk, taking a day off work, or even taking a short holiday to take care of myself. I don't want to get to the point of exhaustion, mentally or physically. I want this journey to be as fun and enjoyable as possible. After six months into my computer science study, I also decided to only work 90% instead of full-time. So I'd take Friday afternoons off, but whenever there's a deadline at work, I would still end up making overtime hours. Nevertheless, I feel like this is a way to help me be able to take longer weekend whenever I have the chance to, and that makes my job work better for me instead of draining most of my energy. I do get 10% cut in salary, technically, because of working part-time, but considering what I could save with traveling these days and slightly less income tax to pay, believe it or not, I ended up with roughly the same salary as a full-time salary. I was also worried at some point that I might be stretching myself too thin by doing too many things, but the way I see it is that as long as the things that I'm doing complement each other, they will be fine. For example, if I learn something new in my study, I'll then write a medium article or make a video on it. I found that the best way to really learn something is actually to explain it to another person so it doesn't only benefit other people but also myself. I even earn a bit money from a few of my popular medium posts, which is an unexpected bonus. And making videos to me is also very fun and meaningful, especially that I feel like I can help a lot of people and get to connect with so many of you who I would probably never in my life have the chance to otherwise. It's definitely not a perfect system and I can't say it will work for anyone. And I do feel sometimes that I have reached my limit. I also think had it not been for the extra time that I got during the COVID time, it wouldn't have been possible for me to do this either. If you're thinking about taking another study to level up your career while working, please leave a comment down below and let me know what you're up to. I'm really, really curious. If you're planning to switch to a data science career, please check out my other videos on this channel. See you soon. Bye-bye.
Sunday.